Hi, Ka-Learners! Hope you are all safe and well. This is another lesson. In your last episode, we analyzed your skills and determined the most appropriate job for you. We also talked about the characteristics of a good employee. Now, let's use that information. In this lesson, you will learn how to prepare for a job application. After you have finished this lesson, you should be able to 1. Find job openings and 2. Prepare the documents you will need in applying for a job. Step 1. Looking for a job opening. Before you even start applying, you need to determine where you are going to apply. You will find various announcements posted in establishments or sometimes on the internet. You can also find advertisements in the classified ad section of newspapers. This is where various job openings as well as items for sale or rent are advertised. It is important to carefully choose the ads that you will respond to. It is likewise important that you read the entire ad and analyze the information. There is nothing worse than responding to an ad that you did not understand. Make sure you have the qualities and skills needed for the job described. Step 2. Prepare your resume or bio data. Employers may ask you to apply in person, which means that you have to bring the necessary requirements with you when you go to the company. Most employees, however, prefer that you send your bio data or resume first for them to evaluate. They will then call you for an interview if they think you are qualified. Whether you will apply in person or by mail, these are the requirements that the prospective employer is likely to ask from you. Number one, bio data or resume. The resume and the bio data are alike in the information that they contain. They only differ in terms of presentation. The resume is more personalized since you can put in the information you want in whatever style you prefer. Meanwhile, the bio data has a more definite structure compared to the resume. There are ready-made biodata forms that you can buy from stores. Number two, NFE, A and E certificate and exam results notice. The NFE, A and E certificate is similar to the diploma, while the exam results notice is similar to the transcript of records that you get if you go to a formal school. This is the document that indicates how you performed in each of the learning areas covered in the NFE, A and E test. Number three, NBI clearance. You can get one from the National Bureau of Investigation Office. This is to make sure that you have no criminal record. The bio data or resume basically contains four parts. The personal data section gives your personal background like age, place and date of birth, civil status, religion, etc. This will give the employer your profile. The educational background portion gives your educational attainment and other trainings attended. This will give the employer an overview of what you can more or less do given your education and training. The employment record lists the other jobs that you have had and how long you have stayed in these jobs. Sometimes you are also asked why you left your previous job. This may give the employer an idea on how well you can do the job. It is always better that you have experience that is related to the position that you are applying for. The character references section lists people who know you and who can give the employer an idea of what kind of person you are. Normally, employers contact these people and ask about you. So it is necessary that you inform people beforehand that you will use them as references. Make sure that they can attest to your good qualities. Even if you have submitted your bio data or resume, some employers may still ask you to fill out an application form. Employers often have these application forms ready for applicants. This is because there may be some more information they want to know about you. Although the application form has some differences from the bio data, the contents of the two are essentially the same. Be honest in filling out your bio data. Do not indicate a job experience which you did not have. Once an employer finds out or even suspects that you are not being truthful, you may 
reduce your chance of getting the job. Step 3. Prepare an application letter. Writing an application letter is necessary when applying for a job. Here, you introduce yourself to the company or individual you are applying for. You may give the application letter in person or through mail together with your bio data or resume. This will give the employer the chance to look at your credentials. Writing an application letter requires careful planning and organizing. Your letter would be the employer's first basis on whether to get you or not. Many employers also look at the application letter as an example of your communication skills. So take the time to do it right. Your letter should catch the attention of the employer. An effective cover letter should accomplish three things. It should one, introduce you and tell your reason for writing. Two, sell your skills and experience. And three, have an effective closing. Let's try your skills, learners. Try and create an application letter for this specific job opening. How did you do, Kalerners? The application letter that you wrote should look something like this. Before you proceed to the next lesson, do not forget the highlights of today's lessons. In applying for a job, you need to 1. Look for a job opening in the classified ads, posted announcements, or the internet. Number 2. Prepare the necessary requirements such as the bio data or resume, NFE, A&E certificate, and exam results. NBI clearance. 3. Prepare an application letter. The application letter should accomplish three things. It should A. Introduce you and your reason for writing. B. Sell your skills and experience. C. Give an effective closing. The bio data contains four parts. Personal data, educational attainment, employment record, and character references. We hope we gave you a ton of knowledge on our topic. These tips will surely help you get your dream job. We have one more crucial advice for you guys. And we will discuss that in our next lesson. Thanks for learning with me today, Kalerners. Kita-kita tayo sa next lesson.